in the quiet corridors of cinematic history where frames of imagination and reality interlace. There exists a gem that resonates across the dimensions of time, the enigmatic 1977 masterpiece, The Serpent's Egg. Like stumbling upon a long-forgotten journal filled with cryptic thoughts, the movie leaves an indelible mark upon first encounters. Cast your mind back to that instant, a curious gaze locked onto the screen, anticipation swirling like the tendrils of smoke, tendrils that seem to curl from the very core of this mysterious narrative. Maybe it was the haunting visage of pre-war Berlin, a city trapped in a twilight zone between the rise of the Nazi shadow and the war drums that echoed across Europe. Or perhaps it was the characters, fragile and unpredictable like glass poised to shatter, carrying secrets and scars that taint the air with a sense of unease. Picture those moments that hung suspended in time, the flicker of a circus light casting a soft glow on a dance floor, a chilling whisper in a dimly lit room, the lingering uncertainty of alliances forged in desperation. In your mind's eye, let the scenes unravel, Liv Ullman and David Carradine navigating a treacherous labyrinth of intrigue, their emotions a raw canvas of human vulnerability. And through it all, the specter of director Ingmar Bergman weaving his genius into every frame, leaving us simultaneously entranced and disoriented, much like the film's own atmosphere. Ah, but the power of cinema lies in its ability to conjure emotions and memories. Recall your own journey through the serpent's egg, the heart-pounding moments that held you captive, the questions that bubbled to the surface, the visuals that lingered in your mind like an echo. But now, let's illuminate the shadows with some intriguing insights. Did you know that the movie's unique blend of psychological drama and historical backdrop was a departure for Bergman? It's as if he traded his familiar terrain for uncharted waters. And as we delve into these random revelations, you'll find yourself once again ensnared by the film's mystique, discovering facets that deepen your connection to its enigma. So, let us journey together, unraveling the layers of the serpent's egg as if deciphering an intricate puzzle. An odyssey through emotions, history, and the human psyche, awaiting us just beyond the horizon of our thoughts. And remember, it all began with that first encounter, the flutter of excitement, the tingle of anticipation. As you journey back, let those memories guide you, intertwining with the revelations to come. For in this dance of remembrance and discovery, we celebrate the allure of the serpent's egg. The Serpent's Egg, unveiling the chilling metaphor in 1977, Ingmar Bergman's enigmatic film The Serpent's Egg stirred intrigue among cinema enthusiasts. Delving into the historical milieu, this cinematic piece prompted interpretations beyond the screen. While the film itself offers a glimpse into post-World War I Germany, it is the title that bears a metaphor laden with profound meaning. Dennis Schwartz, in his review for Oz's World Movie Reviews, intriguingly posits that the serpent's egg metaphorically alludes to the sinister embryo of Hitler's malevolent ambitions. Schwartz vividly draws parallels between the title and the impending horror that would follow Hitler's master race theories. And the Holocaust, Bergman's crafty narrative, set against the backdrop of the Weimar Republic's decadence, serves as a haunting prelude to the terror that would grip the world. Within the realm of production, an unexpected twist emerged. David Carradine, a key actor in the film, brought his own idiosyncrasies to the set. Known for his role as Abel Rosenberg, Carradine's tendency to doze off during shooting days led to tensions behind the scenes. His intermittent slumber raised eyebrows and stirred conflicts among the production team. This unique challenge, though disruptive, added an intriguing layer to the making of the film. While the serpent's egg delves into historical shadows, its impact echoes far beyond the silver screen. A film title laden with metaphorical weight, coupled with onset dynamics, crafts a narrative that extends into the annals of both cinema and history itself. And for those eager to unravel the layers further, a documentary titled Away From Home accompanies the film's DVD release. This documentary peels back the curtain on the making of The Serpent's Egg, shedding light on the creative process and the intricate choices that shape this enigmatic cinematic experience. In a world where history and film converge, The Serpent's Egg stands as a testament to the power of metaphor, the complexity of human ambition, and the artistry that bridges them both. Ingmar Bergman's 1977 cinematic venture, The Serpent's Egg, marries enigmatic storytelling with the backdrop of post-World War I Germany. A closer look reveals intriguing ties to Bergman's inspirations and a possible self-referential nod. 
Bergman, drawing from cinematic history, found Muse and Fritz Lang's gripping 1931 work, M, and Joseph von Sternberg's Beguiling the Blue Angel from the same year. These influences resonate in the film's atmospheric unease and exploration of human nature's darker corners. A curious touch emerges near the film's start as Manuela resides on Bergmannstrasse, a genuine street in Berlin. Given Bergman's directorial hand, this could be a whimsical self-reference, blurring the lines between reality and fiction. The titular serpent's egg gains significance as Abel Rosenberg, portrayed by David Carradine, stumbles upon a laboratory named after it. The symbolism resonates as the thin membranes mirror the perfect reptile, echoing the film's themes of hidden truths and encroaching dread. The serpent's egg weaves a tapestry of inspiration, hidden illusions, and enigmatic motifs. In Bergman's deft hands, cinematic influences converge, forming a chilling narrative that enthralls and unsettles, solidifying its place in the pantheon of thought-provoking cinema. Remember, the film's essence resides not merely in its plot, but in the layers that unveil themselves upon deeper scrutiny. And as the reels cease to roll, the serpent's egg remains, a symbol of the enigma that continues to captivate cinephiles and thinkers alike. Directoring Mar Bergman's bold compromises, the serpent's egg unveiled in 1977, at the zenith of his international acclaim. Ingmar Bergman embarked on a cinematic venture that would push his creative boundaries, and test the sensibilities of audiences on both sides of the Atlantic. The Serpent's Egg, the renowned director's sole foray into big-budget production, emerged as a captivating exploration of human despair against the backdrop of Germany's turbulent Weimar Republic. Produced under the aegis of Dino De Laurentiis, the film bore the unusual distinction of being shot in English, a deviation from Bergman's Swedish roots. De Laurentiis, the astute producer, aimed to tailor the film for the American market, culminating in the casting of American star David Carradine. While De Laurentiis' strategy intended to kindle American interest, The Serpent's Egg received a lukewarm reception in the U.S., contrasting its respectable performance across European cinemas. Notable within the film is the striking use of German dialogue and songs, a motif that drew intriguing attention. Curiously, the DVD release omitted subtitles for these interludes, mirroring the experience of the film's protagonist, Abel Rosenberg, who remains linguistically estranged amidst the turmoil. This artistic choice serves to emphasize the isolation and disorientation felt by the character, offering a unique lens into his emotional journey. Yet, it's Bergman's audacious proposition involving an equine demise that arguably epitomizes the film's narrative challenges. In an effort to depict the dire desperation of the Weimar era's inflation crisis, Bergman contemplated the on-screen demise of a horse. However, this notion was met with vocal opposition from lead actor David Carradine, who staunchly refused to participate should the act be carried out explicitly. A compromise was struck, the horse's demise occurred off-screen, a haunting symbol of societal decay, while its aftermath played out through the eyes of an impoverished woman offering entrails to Carradine's character. The serpent's egg emerges as a testament to Bergman's willingness to embrace uncharted territories and make bold concessions for the sake of artistic vision. Its mixed reception may have underscored the challenges of transcending language and cultural barriers, yet it remains a vital fragment of Bergman's diverse oeuvre. In 1977, the film's release offered a confluence of cinematic and thematic explorations, a beacon of Bergman's boundless ingenuity, and a memento of the intricate choices that artists grapple with in pursuit of their craft. Trade paper Variety erroneously stated that Ingmar Bergman's 1977 film The Serpent's Egg marked the director's first venture outside of Sweden, a claim that doesn't hold true. In fact, Bergman had previously shot part of The Touch in London in 1971. The Serpent's Egg, a psychological thriller, is rather set against the backdrop of a pivotal historical moment. Taking place during a fateful week in November 1923, it aligns with Adolf Hitler's ill-fated Nazi push known as the Munich Putsch. This context adds a layer of historical complexity to the film's narrative. Interestingly, while casting decisions often shape the course of cinematic history, the initial vision for the lead role in The Serpent's Egg could have taken an intriguing turn. 
Directoring Mar Bergman contemplated having the legendary musician David Bowie as the film's protagonist. Although this casting choice didn't come to fruition, it sparked the imagination to envision Bowie's unique presence in Bergman's enigmatic world. The Serpent's Egg weaves a story of mystery and introspection, set against the tumultuous backdrop of post-World War I Germany. It's a cinematic exploration that delves into history, human psyche, and the intricacies of personal and political turmoil. Though inaccuracies abound, the film remains a testament to Bergman's global artistic reach and his ability to craft evocative narratives beyond his homeland. In the ever-evolving tapestry of cinema, where facts sometimes intertwine with fiction, The Serpent's Egg stands as a unique chapter, shedding light on both the director's global footprint and the intriguing roads not taken in casting. It's a cinematic gem that continues to intrigue and captivate audiences, inviting them to ponder the convergence of history, creativity, and the allure of the silver screen. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the enigmatic corridors of the Serpent's Egg, I invite you, dear traveler of the silver screen, to embrace a moment of introspection. Just as the characters navigated the labyrinthine alleys of post-World War I Berlin, take a step back and allow the film's haunting tapestry to interweave with your own experiences. In a world where shattered dreams and fragile hopes dance in the shadows, the Serpent's Egg offers more than just celluloid. It extends an intricately adorned mirror. Reflect upon the themes that echoed through time, the chaos of uncertainty, the paradox of survival, the fragility of human connections. As Bergman's vision seamlessly melds with your own perceptions, it's an opportune juncture to delve into your memories, to unlock the chambers where this film's essence resides in your heart. What scene ignited sparks in the theater of your mind? Was it the evocative portrayal of a city grappling with its demons, or perhaps the character's quest for elusive redemption? This is your canvas, your narrative to paint. Share your thoughts, your musings, your favorite revelations inspired by the celluloid treasure. Unravel the threads of emotion that the serpent's egg has spun within you. So, as our paths momentarily part ways, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for allowing the tapestry of this film to intertwine with your own. Thank you for the time and curiosity you've invested in revisiting this gem. Your insights are the constellation guiding us through the cinematic cosmos. Until we meet again on the next reel of fascination and curiosity, remember, your reflections keep the spirit of the serpent's egg alive. With appreciation,